Hi, I'm Cameron. From Camp Fear Productions. And you're watching Tech Waffle. Don't worry, they're just clones. Man, it seems like everyone's having a clone issue these days. Well, hello there, Waffle Tears. Hope you guys are doing swell. In the last video, SpiderPig123 asked how Steve was able to wear the same shirts as me. That no good freeloader, he steals all my clothes. That's why I own two of everything, so that I can wear whatever I want without worrying about him taking it first. I had a little bit of trouble coming up with today's video topic, so I asked the wonderful people of the internet social space, mainly the Waffle Tears. If you're not a Waffle Tear and you somehow saw my tweet or Facebook status update, then you are very sneaky and you get a virtual high five. No Oh wait, too bad, you're not a waffle tier. A lot of people seem to be pretty excited about the new Windows Phone 7 devices. I have to say it in that epic manly voice to make it sound epic and manly. I saw these guys over the weekend and I was pretty excited, not terribly excited because a lot of sites have already talked about them, but I was excited enough to mildly jump for joy. Most of them were from HTC, including the 7 Surround HD7, 7 Pro, 7 Mozart, and 7 Trophy. There were also previews of Windows Phone 7 phones from Dell, Asus, or Asus, LG, and Samsung. Needless to say, there were a lot of mentions of 7 lately. Speaking of 7, did you know that 7up, the wonderfulicious and tasty pot beverage, was created in 1929? 7 was selected because the original containers were 7 ounces, and up, indicating their direction of the bubbles. Well, random fact, but now you know! It's important stuff. All of the phones have relatively the same specifications, such as a touchy touchscreen, which is mandatory for all WP7 devices, a one gigahertz processor of some kind, and a picture taking cami cam of five megapixels or better. What's exciting about these devices isn't necessarily the specs, but Windows Phone 7 itself. I mean, they all look very, very similar to all the Android devices you see all the kids talking about these days, you know, them with them, hippity hop, lady gaga, poker face, this and that. Think of Windows Phone 7 as being very similar to Apple's iOS, but at the same time, very different from iOS or even Android OS. It's similar in the fact that it's all touchy touch based, it has its own marketplace or app store, and everything seems very well rounded and very well integrated, especially the social networking side of things. <laughs> Twitter, so good! In fact, I should make a tweet right now. There you go. So satisfying! What's up man, why did you say that? Because I can! Windows Phone 7 pulls a screw you Apple with this new simplified OS design. No shiny icons or anything, just plain black background and white text. I mean, it just looks a lot more sophisticated that way. Think of it like if you were to compare a magazine filled with fancy pictures to a book. You just feel fancier holding and reading that book, or at least I do. You know, that's very unsanitary. Well, that's all I had to talk about today. If you want to learn more about Windows Phone 7, you can check out the links in the Flaffa Fly. And oh, yes, if you want to find out what I tweeted about Steve, my Twitter link's also down there. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. You suck! Windows Phone 7 pulls a screw you, Apple! With this new simple. Ah, oh, I should stop throwing it there.